James, people are going to wonder why we didn't play the last record, I Can't Stand It When You Touch Me. Why, why, why can't you do a recording lip synchronization of that? Well, I get my breath. <laughs> it was on impulse, you know. We kind of got a groove going. And I started to come in with a little, a little every now and then, little hip things we were saying, you know, about them slang words that the cats use on the corner and, and the kids use it. Uh, Soda pounds and so forth, you know, it's kind of hard to, you can't do it back over again. You can never right. do it twice the same way. That's right, you can only do it live and it still won't be the same way. All right, I tell you what I want to do. We could sit here for about three quarters of an hour and reminisce with this man on records that he's made, but I want to play you what they call the Soul National Anthem. And we'll talk a little bit about some of the records you've made and we'll ask you to sing again after you catch your breath. See if you recognize this song. You play a little bit of it, Eddie? Just a little touch. Please, please, please. did you make that record? 1956. 56? Couldn't be that long ago. It has been a long time, about 12 years. How many times have you sung it? Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you got me. I'm Several sorry. thousand? More than that, I'd say um, 10,000 times, I guess. Well, you know, we were talking before, Bobby Darren every night has to sing Mac the Knife, you got to right. sing that one. Yes. I won't play another one for a second, I'll ask you a question about this one, see if you remember this one. <laughs> There's something about it, I don't know. All right, easy does it. Now, what was the story? Why'd you make that record? Well, uh, during that time, I, I needed a hit record very bad, and uh, I almost think I said, I said, well, you know, Papa should get a brand new bag, you know? And this we got to come up with a title. And then I started writing, you know, and got a little story together. And, and it was together. Do you write most of your own songs? Yes. Uh, An arranger? Right. How many musical instruments do you play? About eight. Impossible. Listen to this one, see if you remember this one. Good. That was done in the movie, wasn't it? Yes, we did a ski party along with Frank Allen, Ron Craig. You gonna be a movie star one of these days? Well, uh, we're making a lot of plans on it. I hope so. I hope I'll be able to do my last story. 
I think James probably it would be the, the, the James Brown story has got to be one of the biggest winners of all time. Now, we've reminisced times when not everybody's getting very nervous. May I suggest that we do the commercials, let James catch his breath, and then we'll do the second song. Is that everybody? Is that okay with everybody? All right, Jamesy, we'll join you over there in a half a second, okay? Just hang in there. Don't run away. We'll be back in a second. The band, he's saying, uh, if I rule the world, uh, I want to be around. And when it comes to ballads, you know, very often think of him as uh, a blues singer on the upbeat, but oh, he does this fantastic things. This, is, I think, is one of my all-time James Brown favorites. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Mr. Brown. <laughs>